Welcome back. Now more of Al Sharpton's exclusive interview with comedian Larry Wilmore. Donald Trump says, mm. who you also uh, yes. did a lot of jokes on, yes. that he's going to get a lot of black votes. Oh, stop that it. black people love him. Your reaction? Uh, maybe from people named the blacks, you know, <laughs> but not from actual black people. But it's interesting, Reverend. I had some, some blacks on my show who said they want to support Trump. And I don't understand where that comes from. But I think for some of them, he represents this brash figure who isn't afraid of people, and that's like their connection to him or something. And I don't get that. I said that, that, that's what I'm asking. I guess what have, have is it that, that drives thing? his his uh, in your opinion, mm -hmm. at, uh, someone that's in entertainment obviously yeah. successful? Is it the celebrity mm -hmm. driving the feelings of a lot of people that yeah. didn't have a way of expressing themselves? It's, I mean, what do you think from a non-politician <laughs> yes. is driving this Trump uh, sure. kind of energy? I believe that Trump represents what I call the upper class. You know, and it's this uh, this person who speaks only from his id. Nothing is thoughtful, and it's all reactions to things. That is, and it's a very shallow conversation. And he's the leader of the upper class movement, and a lot of people that <laughs> <Upper crack. laughs> yeah, that don't care to have a thoughtful conversation. Look how long it takes Obama just to talk about what he had for breakfast. For goodness' sake, I mean, everything is so thoughtful for him. You know, uh, I had uh, well, uh, you know. but um, Trump, everything is just spit out. It's not thoughtful. He always has to backtrack, ban all Muslims, Mexicans, rapists, but he, he, he uh, appeals to people's visceral reactions and how they, how they feel on the surface about things, and it's not thought through. And I, and I think a lot of it is a reaction to these past eight years, you know, that I think people are tired of liberalism, let's, let's say liberalism, in a way that they haven't been tired before. It's like, fine, okay, gay people. Gay people, you got married. Fine. Do, do we have to bake those cakes anymore? Fine. All right. Black Lives Matter. Whatever. All right. Can we move on? I don't care about the bathrooms. Let's just move on. Can we make America great again, please? You know. And I think he just appeals to that basic level. Do you uh, fear? Because you do mm -hmm. a lot on your show. Uh, I've done your show. I yes, watch thank your you show. Very much. You're great. And uh, and I appreciate you coming doing hours this My morning. Pleasure. But uh, do you do you fear where we may have a emotional reaction mm -hmm. on all sides when we see for the first time in American history a white succeed a black president. We've never been here before, Larry. We're about seven months away from we don't know, I know. how we all are going to feel. I don't know if America's ready for a white president. I really don't know, <laughs> uh, Reverend Al. I'm not sure. I agree with you. Uh, I wanted to go black to black. Thanks, Ben Carson, for screwing that up. Uh, but it didn't happen. Uh, <laughs> you know what? Part of what gets me to, Reverend, I have to share this with you because you would appreciate this, is this is a man who spent a lot of his time and capital and resources to try to illegitim illegitimize, I'm making up a word, this black, this black man in the presidency saying- The birth of movement. Yes, exactly. And uh, he spent so much time, and then America, a large portion of America turns out and embraces this man as the hope to save America. I find that highly offensive. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Do you, uh, uh, as, as we move forward though, mm -hmm. into the yes. next presidency, mm -hmm. uh, how will that impact you as an artist? What, what it's do you so sad. Uh, Trump being president is fantastic for my show. It's a very selfish thing, but it's horrible for America. Um, actually, no matter who's president, I think we'll have plenty of comedy material. I mean, to have the first gentleman, Bill Clinton in the White House, would be fantastic for comedy also, you know. <laughs> I mean, think about that, you know. Uh, but, yeah, unfortunately, Trump, as great as it is for me, I don't know how it's great for everyone else, but we'll see, you know. Well, let me say I'm, I'm, I'm very happy you came oh, and did you. it, and I think mm -hmm. that uh, we don't have to agree, but I hope it's instructive mm -hmm. that we can have a, a conversation Always. and still get along, and uh, maybe America needs to do this more. That would be awesome. All right. Thank you. So I'm going to keep it 100. My brother. Thank you. All right. Thank Larry you. Larry Wilmore, thanks for your time. <laughs> thanks, Reverend. All right. Thank that you. Awesome. Thank you, sir. That does it for me. I'd like to hear what you folks at home think about these kinds of issues. Keep the conversation going online. Like us at Facebook.com slash Politics Nation and follow us on Twitter at Politics Nation. We may not agree. But it's better to talk about our differences than pretend they don't exist. Happy Mother's Day.
I'll see you back here next Sunday.